All right, so we're back with some more Octopath Traveler. Last time we found ourselves uh, world traveling yet a little bit more. We went from the trail over here. We were able to get to Still Snow using that path. Uh, we could have gone the Victor Hollows where Ulbrich's next one was, but we decided on the Dancer earlier on, so uh, that's what we're going to be doing this time around. Now, I think it said to reactivate the quest. I had to go back into the tavern, something along those lines, which is, I just passed it, didn't I? And now Ulbrich's in here instead. Tavern man, hear a tale, shall we? The trail of the left hand man leads you to still snow, hoping to find clues on his whereabouts to take a walk through town. Let's do it. story so far, Primrose has embarked on her journey at last. Her quarry, three men marked with the sign of the crow. She hunts for men who killed her father. After years of waiting and listening, she is at last has a clue. So she hunts the man marked on his left arm. She is guided by a hard-won man. Stolen from her former master, Elginish, with deadly force. The path has been a long one, but she comes at last to Still Snow, the frozen town where she was told she might find the man she seeks. Well, their paths cross at last in this cold land. Father. Not once has your dagger left my side. Not since the day they took you from me. Nor will it until that day that I have my revenge. Watch over me, Father. Still snow. This is where the map led. But how will I find the man I see? No. He must be here. If this is where he summoned Hilganish, perhaps one of the villagers has seen him. look around the village. Okay, it doesn't necessarily say I have to talk to anybody. It looks like whoever I stole from has already been uh, stolen from. I, I know, really insightful, right? Uh, <laughs> it just said I had to look around, so I may not necessarily have to talk to any of the NPCs, but maybe I should have done that anyways. But for the time being, we'll look around. Why would it not be in a tavern grinder? <laughs> it's rather lively in here, isn't it? A stage, simply waiting for someone to give a show. Dazzled eyes may loosen lips. She's gonna do the thing. <laughs> I trust no one will mind if I take the stage. She did the thing. Hurrah! Bravo, now that was a tree for the ice. I've never seen such beauty. Where'd she come from? No, it couldn't possibly be. What a girl. I've never seen dancing like that around here. I. It was like an angel had descended from the heavens. <laughs> I thank you for your kind words, my lords. But kind words will not help me find my man. Can no one tell me something of import? Lady Primrose. Ask me? It is you, isn't it, Lady Primrose? What? Can it truly be Ariana? Yes. Yes, and honored you remember me. I was what a humble servant to have. Most Hazelheart. <laughs> it was the guiding light of the sacred flame that led us to each other this day. Hmm. It's hard to believe that ten years have passed since those dark times. Mm -hmm. I feared that we had lost you as well, my lady. But here you are, alive and more beautiful than ever. What of you, Ariana? How do you come to live in this distant land? In truth. After that terrible incident, I was relieved of my duties. 
I wandered from city to city, living on the streets and performing menial tasks to keep myself fit. I came here to still snow some time ago. Here I make a modest living as How a... As a... Oh, um, well, Lady Primrose, what brings you on a journey so far from home? Actually... I'm searching for a man. I have reason to believe he is here, and so I followed this man. <gasps> Ariana. Ariana, do you know of anything of the place marked here? What? I do not. I fear can I, I cannot help you, my lady. She knows the place I'd wager, she knows the man as well. Please do not hold back, Ariana. You must tell me what you know. Hey. I beg you. <sighs> we should not speak of this here. Come with me. Does that mean Of course, Ariana. Anywhere you like. Our dormitory is not far from here. We will be able to talk freely there. Make for the house in the village outskirts. If you insist. This place. What is this place? In truth. A serene little town has a dark, dirty seat. A brothel frequented by patrons for the realm of... What? Hey, you didn't think there was only going to be yes. one in the entire world now, right? I mean... <laughs> and this is where I made my living. That's right, Primrose. I'm a... Oh, uh, what, can, what can we say that YouTube's not going to read at me for? Uh, a lady of the night. Is that a, a streetwalker? Is that, is that what we're able to say? <laughs> Uh, YouTube has a tendency of nuking videos from orbit for when you say certain things, so, uh, you know, for it. Mm -hmm. This town is not far from Flames Grace, you see. It is a convenient enough place for customers to visit. Some of our best customers would be troubled if their patronage came to light, so the brothel's existence, our existence, remains a secret. The poorest kept secret in all Frostlands may happen when the public turns a blind eye. So then... In this map I came upon, it leads here. Mm -hmm. More precisely, it leads to a certain meeting place. A meeting place? Yes. The location of the brothel is never shared openly. No one would dare put it on the map. Rather, the map leads to a certain location where a carriage comes to carry customers to their destination. Mm. Ariana, might I ask you one favor? Of course. Anything, my lady. How about it? Let me board that carriage tonight. I told you that I'm searching for a man. A man with the mark of the crow tattooed upon his left arm. What? It is true that the owner of the brothel has such a mark. But Lady Primrose, what do you intend to do when you find him? I'll do what I must. Only what I must. Lady Pr I understand. And ready what you need to return to this place, the carriage will be waiting. Press uh, a button to hear travel dancer. Oh, I guess this is... I guess that's the button. I didn't know. All right, cool. Hmm? Alfin, what's the matter? You can't seem to stand still. You know, I... Oh, Chuck, sorry. It's so cold up here. I was born in the south. Me and the cold, we don't get along too well. You think about the brothel, aren't you? <laughs> sorry, it's just the thought of those beautiful women in mugs of meat. You do better to keep your mind on the journey. Besides, you don't need a brothel if all you want is the company of a beautiful woman. Oh my. Nice. What are you trying to say, Primrose? 
Uh, right. Uh, something tells me that the sword didn't update by any me. 34k for an axe. That's. Oh, that's so bad. That's so much money. Oh, jeez, really? Uh, it's too expensive. Oh, man. I tried bringing in our merchant last time, and, like, she did not discount, like, basically anything for us. Like, when I bought that four sets of armor, she was just like, nah, deal with it. And it was like, oh, okay, then. <laughs> like, bruh. It's so expensive. It's just like... Oh, man. Elemental hat. I mean, it's better for everything. On a majority of my people. And, like, much better defense. It's only 12k. It does help my elemental attack, which would help Cyrus even more. We would lose some max SP. As well as on Primrose, except her Night Ode and whatnot would actually do a bit more damage. And she would have more defense. Now, if we're gonna do it, I know I... I know I brought the Merchant Lady last time, but she didn't help us at all, but... Uh, maybe there's only a chance to proc the haggling skill and whatnot that she has. So, uh, okay, I guess I'm here now. Um. Oh, she does. <laughs> she does it with everyone. <laughs> oh no! Hey, from Rose, what's a brothel? I tried to ask Ariana, but she just hemmed and hawed and then wandered off. Jura said there's just some things that uh, a young lady shouldn't know. Oh, come on. This is getting annoying. Someone just tell me. You know, I'm not a young lady, by the way. Be insist. Lean in closer and I'll whisper. <laughs> Do you get it now? Uh, your mouth is hanging, Gabe. Oh, sir. Sorry, I forgot it was still open. Well, you kind of asked for that one. I'm just saying. Okay, all right. You know what? <laughs> uh, this is going to be expensive, but... If it helps out my defense just a little bit, then I suppose I'll go for it. I definitely won't get upgraded armor in the next set that will just completely negate this, right? Right? Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, that's expensive. Yeah, no, you're not getting that, Teresa. Miss me with that. What the... Yeah, I just... Alright, well, I got AK of it back immediately, at least. That was just... Oh, man, that was expensive. Why do I even bring you half the time your haggling doesn't even work? I wonder if it could even work in that area. I thought it worked once the one time we went in there. Maybe there's just, like, a support or passive skill or something that helps it go off more? Because, like, did we not get haggling at some point? I mean, maybe it was just from purchases with the, uh... With the townspeople and whatnot, but literally I can just steal for free, which is even better. Like, why would I not just do that? Then? Like, am I am I crazy for thinking this? Like, I don't understand. I lose crit, but I gain far more elemental attack, physical defense, and elemental defense. Uh, yeah, that's worthwhile. Can't really buy any better gear, but we stole better daggers and whatnot for our dancer and our thief there. And Cyrus has always had better weapons, so I think this should be fine. Not that we're exactly swimming in money anymore. We're not poor necessarily either. But, uh... We're not the most outfit we could be. Lady Primrose. That man there is or and he drives a carriage. As we say it, like, right to his face five steps away from him. He has a sharp eye and a suspicious nature. That's why he was hired. Wow, you mean him him helping with a brothel? He needs to be more suspicious than normal. Hmm, I wonder why. I can only imagine as to why. That is unfortunate. I'm Primrose. I wish you a pleasant evening. Hmm. I haven't seen you around here before, you new girl. Mm -hmm. I am. This will be my first night in the Master's service. Well, no one's told me about it, so you ain't getting in my carriage. Fair I enough. See. In that case... You know, before I came here, I was a dancer. Men said that once they seen me on the stage, nothing could ever satisfy them again. Would you like a little show? Huh. Hmm. 
I think you'll find it most stimulating. Huh. She belongs to the streets. Mm -hmm. I think not. You done with your little show? Oh, he said the thing. He said be gone. Ah. I am. Did you not enjoy it? No. Seen better, seen worse, I reckon. If you'll excuse me. I see, me. then do not allow me to trouble you further. You really said be gone, thought. Well, Rip Rose. Uh, confidence in, sh in shambles right now. Lady Primrose. That was the most beautiful dance, my lady. She did one twirl, what do you mean? Oh. Uh, thank you, Ariana, but your praise is not the prize I saw. <laughs> I did try to warn you, my lady. The man is no fool. Fine, then. Indeed, I must find another way. I should go back and talk with Ariana. Perhaps there's someone in town who could convince him to change his mind. Well, then. Uh, well, oh. we're here again. You dance beautiful. Of course, Iris. Well, you're positively inspiring. I wish I could dance like that, but alas. But yes, Iris is also dead, so this is probably going to be nothing. Two left feet, right? I'm afraid so. I dare not go to the faculty balls for fear I'd trip over some poor girl and make a fool of us both. I wonder if lessons would help, or I should simply accept who I am and stick to my tomes. Well, you're probably a quick learner, and even the clumsiest people can manage the basic steps. The most important thing is to enjoy the dance and let yourself go. Right, right. Don't be self-conscious. Of course, that makes sense. Uh, easier said than done, that's for sure. It'd be rather wonderful to do all those complicated steps and not think about it. As much as I love scholarship, I love dancing too. I mean, X the doubt on that one. But, uh, yeah, I imagine if you dance like that, you'd have to be, or at least you'd have to allow yourself to be very, uh, not self-conscious. Well, if you're that eager, I could give you some pointers. You do that, why well, I'd be most grateful if you could. Rumor has it that... Orin owes the tavern keeper debt. What sort of debt? I couldn't say. Really now? Well, I suppose there's only one thing we can do here. Well, my traveler, what can I do for you? What, the only <laughs> tavern keeper will ever be able to uh, allure, apparently. I'm in now. Why don't you go spend a little more time? You want me to have a word with Orin? Uh, yes, I'll think about it. Oh, hey, fam. Whoa. Master Barkeep. Always a pleasure to see my kind benefactor. Well, Brazy. Eh? You want me to give the new girl a ride? I mean, of course, sir, as you wish. At least I can do to repay your kindness. Hop in, woman. We don't have all night. Well, easy enough. Ready to go? Uh, well, I don't think I can really prepare all that much more, at least based on the gear in the city. And I imagine it has more or less the most up-to-date up gear. So it's probably be about as good as we're going to get. Mm. Here we go, then. Primrose. Father, please! Let me try just once more! No, well, we got ourselves a flashback. You have tried enough. Now you must be still and reflect upon why you continue to fail. You are my daughter, the lone daughter of House Azelheart. You must be strong, stronger than you are now. Yes, father. Answer me this, Primrose. What is required of the head of a great house? The Lady of House Azelheart? The Lady of House Azelheart. 
must safeguard her family's success and glory. She must be strong enough that no other house might overshadow our own. Well, that ain't okay, very well, so. dude. But hear me well, Brimrose. Worth is not found in the eyes of others. That which truly matters most lies within. A little cringe, but, but the head of our house must value above all is faith. Ah, oh, he said the thing. All right. Faith. Faith shall be your shield. These are our house words, and what they mean is that you cannot waver until you have done what you know in your heart of hearts must be done. Well, that kind of just seems like an excuse to do anything you want, so far as uh, you know in your heart that it must have been done, therefore whatever action you take is justified. Just, hmm. It is, is the that determination a... to keep your eyes fixed on the path before you. Though a thousand indignities may seek to trip you up along the way. Ah, there you go. Just do whatever must be done. As long as it's in your heart of hearts. You must find that faith in yourself. Uh, faith, that's what we're calling it, okay. Yes, Father. Primrose, I would entrust this dagger to you. Our words are engraved upon the blade. See that they are engraved upon your heart as well. Father. Lady Primrose, are you all right? Oh, Ariana is getting on with this as well. Though. Ariana. You must have been very weary. Now we did walk through this I was whole snow. Just thinking about Father. Even in my memories, he will not stop lecturing me on how to live my life. Yeah, well, you know, considering you're going into enemy territory, I'm not sure you would want to be talking about your father right next to somebody who clearly works for your enemy. And that's, you know, it's a little bit of thinking, Primrose. Please, I. Lord Azelhart was a man of unwavering principles. Like, maybe, okay, maybe before that you could have gotten away with just mentioning a father, right? Maybe they don't know who you are necessarily already. But then, if Ariana's gonna go out there and say, Lord Azelhart, when you're going into the man's territory that killed him, I just, you know, something about it, just, bruh. That he was. He taught me the sword, he taught me my letters. He taught me what it meant to live with dignity and honor. Uh, he taught you the sword? Wait a minute, you use daggers. Uh, you mean he taught you daggers? No, no, there's a difference. Because you can't use swords unless we get some, like, secondary jobs or something. <laughs> he taught me all that I know. Uh, well, okay then. He always told me, choose wisely what to believe in and have faith in your beliefs. For that faith shall be your shield. I think we heard that somewhere before. What do I believe in? I don't know, you tell us. My lady? End of the line. He, he said the thing. Alright, guess we're here now. Here we are. This is where I take my leave. And not a word of this to the man in charge. I don't know who you are, but I know you don't belong. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Hmm. Once long ago. House Hazelheart was locked in a vicious struggle with several of the other high houses. As that usually goes. Why, you mean nobility fighting amongst each other? <laughs> That's never happened before. The tales say that my forebears dirtied their hands with many inglorious deeds in those days. Hmm, it, it kind of feels like history repeating itself right now. One time, the head of House Azelhar invited his, his liege lord to the castle for a great feast, and then he killed only the murderer him and every last man in his party that sees power for himself. Yep, there we go. That's right. The sword had been a cruel man, and perhaps my forebear did the common folk a great service, but it did not win him any friends. Hmm, you mean you took somebody else of a noble family? Then killed him and all of his people, and then wondered why they didn't earn him any friends. I, I can only imagine as to why that might be. 
Still, my family never relinquished the power they had seized and they never lost faith in their convictions. Wow, that, that almost sounds tyrannical when you think about it. Hmm. So they gained the power, they didn't give it back, and then it basically they were fine with it because they believed in their heart of their hearts. That was the thing that they did. Hmm. Really? This doesn't sound like a, a very noble house right now. Faith shall be my shield. And that's what you call it. Uh huh. Unwavering belief in the righteousness of what they had done protected them from any sling and slots. So basically, they just take care. Okay, all right then. Did it. <laughs> the petty squabbles of great houses concern me no longer. But our words still guide me as they have guided my family for so long. As long as I have something to believe in, this is all I need. Hmm. It must be very nice to be able to just act however you want and be like, Oh, my... My faith or my belief is what made me do it therefore i shouldn't be uh held accountable for my actions because it was done with my heart and my heart and that makes everything i do okay right okay lady primrose what is it that lady primrose what is it that you believe are you gonna swallow the question her words hanging in the air she feared what the answer might be What was that? Did you say something? <laughs> no. There's nothing, Molly. We only have one person as a single us. guard. This is the Obsidian Parlor. The dark rumors about it never cease yet it remains cloaked in shadow. Oh, you mean like plenty of those areas in the world? Of course you can't talk about them, though. They say men of influence come across the realms, have their hand in the buying and selling of women here. And well, you know, I'm sure that still exists. It probably always was, sadly. I have applied my trade here for several years. A trade, is that what we're calling it now? I'm trading something, alright. In that time, many of the girls who came here have disappeared as suddenly as they came. I wonder why that may be. <laughs> yes, I am for the streets. And a cheap one at that. Sold to the place for a price that would not buy you a good horse. Who knows when I will be sold again, and to wear for another pittance when I think of that. <sighs> it scares me. Wow. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lady Primrose. I do not deserve your pity. Make your way through this cave. It will take you to the Master's Chambers. If you go quietly, no one will be the wiser you're coming. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a cave that immediately leads to the main man's chambers. If this man's gonna have no guards, nothing about it. He's not gonna be like, hmm, why is there a cave in my chambers? Ah, well, this is fine. Oh, monsters in the cave. Don't, uh, don't worry, we can handle those. Like, <laughs> okay. Alright, sure. I must be getting the work, so this is where I must leave. Of course, Ariana. Thank you for all you've done. Take care of yourself and have faith. She said that thing. Well, okay then. Oh, well, more travel bands here, really? <laughs> Why so grim? Grim. You look like a tiger about the town's on its prey. Maybe I am. I've been hunting for a long time now. I'll just make sure the hunter doesn't become the hunter. Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. And when I set a good goal, I always achieve it. I'm not the sort to forget her lines at the show's finale. I'll take your word for it. I appreciate your concern. I didn't realize you cared so much. I know, I'm so thoughtful. Got her. 
All right, well, it clearly wants us to stay right here. Wonder if I had to check around the outside of the area here. I'm sure it won't let me just walk up or whatnot, but there could be a chest like. Ah, ah. Oh, really? Is this what we want to do right now? They switch up the music for this area? Uh, right. Switch to our sword. I am ready. Oh man, I lost all my summons now because of that rip. You think our apothecary would be immune to that skill that makes us lose our items? Here we go. You think that would be a good thing? What? It even said it missed, and I still lost my items, bruh. Okay, then. Really? Is this what we're doing right now? I don't, I don't need them like that. Like, don't get me wrong, but like, still. Cyrus should be hitting harder now that we got that last set of armor. <laughs> I guess we can just go against Beast. Yep. Although it does it with the dagger, so I'm not going to heal for all too much. Good enough to wreck that guy, huh? I'm ready. Yeah. One more bewildering grace on the off chance we get a double. Ah, Alright, well. Can I get away with a fireball here? Maybe. It leaves me with just enough SP that I can use four go. more of our uh, multi-hit bigger attacks. Well, I can't use my wind yeah. skills because somebody had to go drop my items. My turn. Ah, are you crit me? Alright. Come on, be like that. I am ready. Come on, Primrose. Last yeah. chance to use all right. Well, well, that's that's a good 75 SP gone before I could even get a real benefit out of it. Feels bad, man. Less than a thousand away from Alfin getting his uh, divine skill, so that could be good. Thankfully, we brought our thief with us. Dark Amulet. Surely that's an armor, or at the very least an accessory. Dark Amulet reduces dark damage taken. Sure. I mean, if we have a boss that specializes in dark, that could work out. Otherwise, it's kind of uh, niche. I knew there had to be something outside of here. They wanted me to go oh, into that cave too quick. quickly. You know, it was Bring a little too convenient in place. Wear down the bear just a Out little bit. Way. Go ahead and break you. And Primrose I'm again. Ready. Cyrus were slower than these three. Why do I not believe? BP Primrose. Oh boy. Now, what next? And I lost my BP, so I can't do that anymore. I still break the bar. Not that I'm really concerned about these guys like that. <laughs> Rar and deep. There he is. Rar and deep. Alright, now the action. Thing. Rip my SP. Alright, well, I don't have any of that. I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. The show is over. Anything else we can grab in here? Ah, ah. They really just wanted me to run into that chest area, didn't they? All right. So this one will probably be a little bit shorter as a result, but uh, considering the caves can tend to be a little bit long, we'll go ahead and uh, stop it here. So that way, if it does run a little bit longer, it won't just be an extra, extra long video, which I have no problem with. I just want to make sure people uh, are able to watch the video for what it is that being said appreciate you guys for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one